What's cracking, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Honda Recap. Thanks for tuning in yet again to another week. If this is your first time, make sure to smash that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button, and hit that notification bell so you're notified every Monday night at 8 p.m. when this thing airs. Like I said, if this is your first time, essentially what I'm trying to do is get everything that's going on on a weekly basis here in the Honda universe here on YouTube and bringing it into one digestible episode so you can keep updated on a weekly basis, kind of know what's going on. If you got things, you got school, you got family, you got work, you know you can come back here Monday night, 8 o'clock, and get to know what's been going on and what you've missed. Thanks again for tuning in to yet again another week, guys. It's been fun hanging out with you guys, talking to you guys in the comments. Thanks again. Same as last week, let's just get right into it. I wanted to kick this off with Big Murph, but I want to talk about more on Instagram because he hasn't actually put a video up on YouTube in a few days now, but I've seen the hatch, I've seen it without an engine, and I've seen it with a B-Series in the hatch. I'm really excited for this, and I'm really waiting for the video to actually come out because as I've talked about in the past, he's building a B20V, and he's trying to put it in there. So I've seen it in there, only in picture form. We're waiting for the video, bro. Just hit that upload button. Next up, we got EG k 20 c built this guy's in spain a long time ago he was kind of one of the first guys pioneering this for the most part he's got i believe he's got an eg hatch with a brand new fka k20c engine in it since then it's been about close to a year actually more about six seven eight months he's got a lot of big companies kind of supporting him helping him get the build together it's going to turn out amazing he's out there in spain if you guys aren't following this guy it's definitely an account on instagram you want to follow because it's a beautiful eg hatch it's what he had at the time and you know what he threw the k20 in it it's going to be awesome i'm super stoked I'm, i can't wait for this thing to finally turn on speaking of hatches we got project underscore eg6 jace he's got an amazing hatchback he's been taking his time on it because he wants quality parts he's building his dream car i've talked to him a little bit on instagram it's red it's it's very immaculate it's trying to be a really awesome build like i said he's using quality parts he wants to build his dream car so he's not taking any shortcuts he's just going at it the best way he can Next up on Instagram, we got CLGE8. This is a crazy looking JDM Mugen GE8 fit. I saw him about a year, year and a half ago at a True Fit Crew meet. He drove down from Canada. It's a beautiful Mugen fit. It's one of the best ones I've ever seen in my life. Hands down, I'm not kidding you. And if you follow him on Instagram a while back, he actually found, I think, a K24A2 TSX motor. I think he's gonna put it in there with the new passport mounts that are being built. So it's going to be awesome because it's already looking great. It's bagged, very choicey. And once the K24 in there, it's just, it's going to be a blast to drive. So if you, if you like fits or you're not really sure about fits, this is definitely an Instagram channel you want to check out. It's going to blow your mind. All right, with that said, let's go ahead and jump right into YouTube. And I want to start off with some channels that I haven't really talked about in the past. And this first one is FC Del Sol. Younger guy with a big passion in Del Sol's. He's got a really small channel, but I see the passion in him. I've talked to him again on Instagram before. I know he wants to grow, and I know he wants to put a lot of effort into his car. It's a beautiful cypress green Del Sol. He's, got, he's lowered, he's got a single cam in it, and he's doing everything he can in his garage as best as he can. I'm super stoked for you, man. I can't wait for your channel to grow, and I know how happy you are to be driving your car right now. Following that, a channel that I've talked about in the past, we got Honda K Build. This guy's got an FA5 with a K24 in it. He's back on YouTube and he did a kind of overview of where he's at with the car right now, what he had, what he's had in the past, what he's built, essentially where he's trying to actually go with the car. It's a great time to hop into his channel, give him a subscribe, and just kind of follow along what he's doing. He's doing everything by hand. I think he actually had to move in the middle of the swap, which is just terrifying if you're like taking the engine out of your car and putting it back in. But he still made it happen and he's driving it right now. So definitely check it out. Another guy I want to talk about is Tony Castillo. This guy's got an FG2 with a lot of awesome goodies. In one of his latest videos, he actually put in new headlights and he's kind of doing some new tune-up stuff. It's a really great channel to watch. Fun guy. I'm not positive, but I think he's down in SoCal. Um, I think he actually knows I am Danimal, or at least most likely because of the cars. I'm not actually sure if they're friends, but pretty sure Danimal kind of showed me, hey, check out this guy's channel. So props to you, man. Really love the FG2. You're doing it proper. All right, next up, we got Auto Sauce, a.k.a. Boosted Boys Jeremy, but not Boosted Boy Jeremy anymore. Essentially, that's what this video is about. He basically already had videos up on his channel, and he's gotten a lot of questions, as all we all did, because, you know, he used to be a Boosted Boy, and he now isn't. So he goes over a little bit of what's actually going on between him and what happened with the Boosted Boys and why he's no longer on the channel. Not taking sides. I really liked Jeremy. I really liked all of them. So everyone's got to go their own separate ways. But you can go ahead and check the video out. 
He's talked about a lot of the stuff that went on in the house and how everything kind of worked in the partnership and why he's not there anymore. So if you ever had those questions, it's definitely a video you want to give a good watch to. But you know what, man? I loved your car. Jeremy, you're a cool ass dude. Super happy that you're making videos again, man. You always got my support. Following that, we got Lazy Man Garage Chris out there in Southern California, always there to help his friends. And as of now, I think Luis got a new, got some new parts for his car. You know, they've been working on it off, off and on. He got a new camera and he's kind of stepping up his game a little bit out there on YouTube. I already loved your candid stuff. I know you were using your phone before and you know what? I loved that quality now, but you're rocking a DSLR now. You're trying to fancy it up. I really approve, man. I think you deserve a lot more subs for what you do for your friends and what who you are. So definitely keep it up, man. It's getting better. All right, following that, we got Shades Wade and the DC5. I actually know what cool new parts he actually has for his car. He did an actually live stream not too long ago unboxing it. He's definitely going to keep his DC5 as his homage car. He bought some quality parts. I think he's really trying to get everything together as fast as possible, including a K20A. I'm not sure if he has it yet, but I know it's in the plan. So Guys, you gotta watch this channel. You gotta make sure you follow along there. He's got a lot of cool parts. I think he's actually trying to get the car together for H-Day out there in September. I'm not actually sure, but it's gonna be out there at MIR again. And I know he's trying to build his car and resurrect it to get it there. So nothing's gonna stop him. He keeps going. He gets new parts almost every single week. I can't wait to see this thing rip. All right, following that, we got Wideband, AKA Tyler's Garage. I found this guy a long time ago because he had a Turbo Celica. And then he ended up finding an EJ1. And once he started driving the EJ1, I know he started to really fall in love with Hondas. And ever since then, you know, the channel has kind of grew. As of lately, though, he got his hands on like a Volvo wagon and he wanted to put a B18 in it. In his latest video, he actually has the B18 in the car, which is amazing because, I mean, who else is doing that? Literally nobody. So what's up, Tyler? I'm glad you're doing it. It's a really cool build. It's oddball. So I know 802 Garage is all about those oddball swaps. Either way, props to you, man. I can't wait to see it finished. All right, next up we got Young Static with the turbo budget build. He's basically, like I said, I've been going section by section, showing you how it's done, showing you how he's planning on doing it. And as of lately, we watched him cut a radiator in half, and then I think that kind of had some leaks, so we cut it again, and he's got like a half-half radiator now. It's ingenious. I saw the car in person actually very recently. The car looks amazing to know the story to know how much he's got into it it's it's amazing to see what he's actually pulled out the car is just amazing in person the rust-oleum paint job is out of this world i'm not gonna lie it's shiny up in person and i'm, I'm so juiced to know that it's turbos in the car and it's gonna run soon i can't wait to see what you put down at the track following that we got sir motive garage out there on the east coast i saw him on instagram actually post a picture he did an oil change found uh, some couple specks in there in the oil and i know it got him down and literally I talked to him like, oh man, what's going on? He kind of broke it down for me a little bit. And literally a day or two later, the motor is out of the car. He's not stopping. He definitely wants to take the oil pan off, see what's going on with the block because he doesn't want to run it that way. You know, he just got it built. He just ran it. He wants to know what's going on. So man, I commend you for that. Didn't take long at all. You just pulled the engine right out of your RSX and you're getting everything set up to start to diagnose what's going on. That's insane. Props to you, man. I hope it's not what you think it is and we can get this car back on the road. All right, speaking of getting to the track, we got SP Tuning getting a new weight plate on the front of La Fea. Mainly because you wanna, you know, I think you wanna fix your 60 foot and you wanna get a little weight up into the front of the car and you guys are nonstop constantly pushing what you guys can do for your cars. I love it and I love that I learn something every time I watch one of your videos, guys. Yup, next up, we got another Del Sol and that means Lulz Kev. This guy is just nonstop with this car, bare metal. I've never seen a Del Sol straight up bare metal. It's insane how much effort you're putting into this car. And in his latest video, if you watch it, he actually shows you step by step how he's doing it, the highs and lows on the metal, trying to straighten everything out. I've talked to him before. He's got an insane part list he wants for this car. I, I, I'm not joking when I say this. I think he's like somewhere in the 20s, mid 20s of how many Del Sol's he's owned. He knows the car inside out. And as a Del Sol owner, they're all a little weird. I don't know how you guys do it. If you, most people are always on a few Del Souls, and there's so many intricacies there are with this car. So you're gonna knock this out. It's gonna be his last one. He's basically building it so that way he never has to have another one and it's built exactly how he wants it. So if you wanna see an epic Del Sol build, definitely check out Lowell's Kev. Following that, we got SI Rico. 
doing different videos, I get basically going over the different topics like car enthusiasts, turbo lag. It's really cool to see his uh, personality come out on camera, his perception of different things, and I love it. It's kind of like a podcast. If you ever thought what he's thinking, you know, definitely some videos to check out. Props to you, man. All the stuff you've been doing on Instagram stories, I've watched your CRX get built. I want to see it in person, man, and I can't wait till you're ripping it on the streets, dude. I'm literally waiting for those videos. Speaking of ripping it on the streets, we've got Adam Ivel of 621. His hatch is literally on all four wheels out of the garage, and I think I saw somewhere on Instagram that you're driving it now, or at least moves under its own power. I haven't seen a video yet. I want to wait for that, but I swear I did read it. Maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. But I know the S15's home. You're having a lot of fun with that. You're driving it back and forth because it's been, you know, a hassle with that car too. Finally getting it to a state where you can trust it. Reliability has always been a thing since you've gotten it. So I'm super juiced to watch the S15 videos too. But as soon as that video drops of that EG6 driving on its own, I don't know what I'm going to do, man. I Props to you for all the effort you've put into that build. Next up, we got John Widmer garage built Hondas with block spherical rear trailing arm bushings. He shows you how to get them into your car without having a press. And this guy little by little is building one of the most amazing EF track cars. I love it. And the spherical bushings, I mean, what else could you want? I can't wait to see that car on the track too. I wanna to know what you're feeling, what you think about them, whether or not you like them over the other kinds of rubber bushings or poly bushings or whatever else that I've seen you put into your car as well. This is a really awesome video. Just like SP Tuning, every time you put out a video, I learn something new and that's why you have one of the best channels here on YouTube, man. Next up, we got Zosh. And I gotta say, I think the Ruckus build is complete. I'm not sure how many videos in total it's been, but man, you got it. You were super excited. It wasn't like a day before you tore it down completely. Frame painted, extended, all put together, slightly tuned, definitely modified, and now it's complete. Perfect match to Christina, color per color. It's been a journey, dude. You've learned a lot, both you know with your car and with the Ruckus. So I'm super excited. I wanna see more footage of you just cruising around this car. I know you gotta have other friends out there with Ruckuses, and you know what? When you get two or three or five people with a Ruckus, you just got yourself a little road mafia going on. Those videos are gonna be awesome. I'd love for you to get some like a Bluetooth headphone or something, throw it in your helmet, just do some moto vlogs, cause you know what? You can. I want to see it. We're all here for your personality. So, man, I would really love to hear your insight while you're actually riding the ruckus. Following that, I wanted to talk about 79th Productions. If you haven't been following his build, it's definitely painted. I think he wrapped some stuff in carbon fiber recently. Definitely check out his video. I actually had the pleasure of meeting Justin from 79th Productions a couple days ago with Young Static. And I got to tell you, dude, you know, face to face. Well, I told you face to face, but I'm telling you face to camera, I guess. You're one of the most genuine dudes I've met. It's really awesome to know. Also like Dana, uh, when you meet them in person and you see them on camera, they're the same person. Humble, super funny, always smiling, and that's really great to see. You know, it's always weird when you meet somebody and you watch their vlogs and you don't actually know, you know, how they're going to react or how you're going to talk to them. And it's, it's so awesome to say that you guys are literally the most genuine people you meet on camera and in person. It was like I already knew you were already cool. That's just awesome. So anyways, like I wanted to say that. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you soon. If you guys aren't following 79th Production, definitely check it out. This guy shows you how to build stuff. You don't need a lot of money. You just build humbly, do what you got to do, and, and just have fun and love your car. And as long as you love your car, this is actually something he told me, is that as long as you love your car, I mean, what's the problem, right? It doesn't matter what you have. And it's really cool to see that that's his perception and how he wants to help you on the channel. And actually, speaking of build humbly, we got Royce Natividad. This guy has his FG2 and he just wrapped it. Super red. He's been doing it himself in his garage. Personally, I think it came out great. Props to you, dude. Wrapping a car is something that a lot of people have thought about doing. And little by little, you've been doing it yourself. And it came out great, you know? It's definitely a better color than the, your stock color. I know you don't like it. That gray has always been a weird one that Honda made. So I'm really happy that you chose the red you did. And you've just been hammering away at it. Your latest video of the Unveil is amazing. Following that, we got Hunter Tuned. This guy has been putting out videos a little bit slower than usual, but you know what? I've talked to him. I know that he's constantly working. He just doesn't always make videos right now because he's running at 100%. He's working on an Integra right now, and he also went and took a motorcycle to the drag strip. That's insane, man. I see people on the freeways going so fast on motorcycles. I can't even like fathom the idea of sitting there watching the lights go, and then on green, you're just gone. Just 
it's you're weightless and you're out of there man it takes so much guts but you know what you're a horsepower guy you're a guy of speed so i'm sure it was a blast for you love the channel as always keep putting out videos man even if it's the same thing even if you feel like it's the same thing every time we're there for you we're there to kick it man just i have no problem watching you work on cars bro all right, following that, I actually got to drive this CTR that's in this review. It's Zygreen. It's not really specifically a Honda channel, but he does have an NSX. He does have an S2000. So he is a Honda guy. He does a lot of car reviews. If you haven't checked it out, Zygreen, definitely check him out on YouTube. In his latest video, he did a CTR that I actually drove quite a few days ago. I'm super excited about it because, man, it the CTR changed my viewpoint on the new FK8. It's an awesome daily driver, four-seater, tons of power. You throw it around like it's just a normal Civic. It's it's awesome. I would love to have one, and one day maybe I would. Uh, I'm probably about 10,000 shirts away from actually buying one myself, so definitely definitely click the link down there, guys, hondavlogs.com slash shop. Probably about 10,000 shirts. I, I might be able to make a down payment, so that would be, um, that would be, that would be cool. Anyways, guys, last up, we got Yoast bill definitely going over his car what he's been doing and how he's actually taking the weight out of it because that da is trying to go so fast na with a lot of nitrous so the best way to do that is actually take weight out of the car because less weight more horsepower you know what i mean honda math is crazy but the lighter your car faster you can go right so definitely yost built definitely check that channel out i think he just hit 500 subscribers he definitely needs more he's giving you a bunch of high twos just like sp tuning great guy awesome personality and he definitely shows you how to do everything just with your two hands with minimal tools and without needing to buy expensive parts you can definitely go fast anyways guys that's it for me. Thanks again for tuning in for another episode of the Honda Recap. I'll see you next week. Thank you to all the new people that have joined. Thank you to all the people that are back here again. Do me a favor, send this link to somebody you know that probably isn't subscribed. Tell them to subscribe. We need to grow this community. And like I said, definitely head over to hondavlogs.com slash shop. Pick yourself up a shirt. I have some sticker ideas. Let me know down in the comments below. If you're down to see some sticker ideas, just go ahead and let me know. Hit the subscribe button, hit that bell so you're notified every Monday night at 8 o'clock and make sure to hit that like button, guys. I'll see you next week. Thanks. Peace.